Club in Burbank, California. Here is John Baldwin Jr. So John Baldwin Jr. who comes from a skating family. His father competed at this event back in 1974. He was three months old at the time and in the audience by the way in eighth place after the short program. And he seems a little bit more confident this year. He had a tough year last year but he skated a good short this year and he seems pretty confident. Different kind of style too than the other skaters. Triple axel. Landed going forward on two feet. That's actually a mistake that I haven't seen him do all week. He's been hitting those consistently. You don't usually see anybody land going forward. No, it's they either fall or they don't, or they make it. Exactly. This a triple lutz, double toe combination. It was a double lutz, double toe combination. It's interesting. A lot of skaters can get lost in the air. If their timing's different on the takeoff than what they're used to, they'll get lost in the air and break out forward like that. Trouble is, he's not doing enough revolutions to even get lost. But that was a very nice axle sit spin. You don't see too many of them, and you don't see them done that well. Remember, the leaders come up in the next group, including Todd Eldred, Scott Davis, Michael Weiss, U.S. champion being crowned tonight in Philadelphia, and they're also fighting for two spots on the American Olympic team. And skaters use these sections that you're seeing right now to regroup. He's had a tough opening, he's not happy with it, and now he's trying to rest a little bit and regroup and start anew. And also retain enough energy to get through the rest of the program with these kind of jumps. Good high double axel, but a double axel, not a triple. And that was a double loop instead of a triple. I'm beginning to sound like a cracked record on this program. <laughs> He's a very nice skater, and he can do some wonderful moves. Yeah, Just he a is. pity that tonight is not his yeah, night. Yeah, I've seen him skate a lot better in practices than this. That's probably the most disappointing thing, is when you've been practicing well, and you go out there, and you're competing, and you don't do what you feel you're capable of. Spread go, stepping into a triple lutz. second half of the program. Yeah, and at this point, you're just hoping for it to end. <laughs> you see, it's interesting that for the last, since the last year, since 1994, he has, at the U.S. National Championships, ranked 13th, 9th, 11th, and then last year, 13th. eighth after the short program, so he was looking at perhaps his best finish. Not going to happen with his effort here. He's usually much quicker and tighter than he is tonight.
unfortunately, the moment he was looking forward to at the end of his program. Game. Test skate. Mm. Tough experience here in the free skate for John Baldwin Jr. We'll have his marks when we return to Philadelphia. Welcome back, everybody, to the Core State Center in Philadelphia. Terry Gannon, Dick Button, Brian Boitano, rinkside at the State Farm U.S. Figure Skating Championship. And Dick Button, Brian Boitano, rinkside at the State Farm U.S. Figure Skating Championship. The men's free skate continues. By the way, the marks for John Baldwin Jr. 4.1 up to 4.8. 